You tell me. What could possibly explain that? I assure you, David is not a ghost. I've touched him. Did you... Did you have sex with, with the zombie, Claire? Ew. Did you do it? Well, it's he's not really a zombie, though. He's like a Neanderthal, so that's like... It's having sex with an animal? Well, she said he was, um... Undead. So I guess it would be the yeah. same level as, like, zombie. But, but... Like, the thing is, is that, like, his mental faculties aren't all there, so, like, you have to wonder about the consent thing. True. If he can't actually say yes. Mm. Since I brought him back, I felt that there was something different about him. Something not quite right. I think it's his brain. But how ludicrous that you can bring someone back in the first place. It's like that book, Pet Symmetry. Oh, God. Funnily enough, he does smell of earth, but... That's because he spends most of his time out hunting. Wait, hold on. What are you looking for? I want to see if that death thing... What death thing? <sighs> Splendid. I can't lose, Doctor. Let me demonstrate. Okay. I just want to know if it was the same. He's putting his penis in her mouth, and uh, that's it. Right. Claire. If David doesn't exist, then that means that I really did kill him. He really is buried, and I really should be going to prison for a very long time. That just doesn't seem right to me. Wait, you should still be going... It's more probable that I reanimated him under Dr. Decker's guidance. Okay. Um, well, I think you should still go to jail. Yeah. Even if he didn't die, because you definitely stabbed him. Like, like either way, alive or dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How astute, Doctor. Yes, I did say I hadn't seen Dr. Decker outside of our sessions. That wasn't a lie. Our trip to the lake house was made during a session. That's a long session. I didn't speak to her this time. Something about her made me feel uneasy. I just watched her from the bedroom window. She'd caught a fish. Good for her. She was holding it in her hands. I wasn't close enough to see, but for all intents and purposes, it looked as if the fish bit her. One, two... Three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. What? What the fuck was that? I wasn't close enough to see, but for all intents and purposes, it looked as if the fish bit her. See? Yeah. It's different. Huh. Because when she says things that are not in the transcript, it's, like, not recorded. Mm. Isn't that weird? <sighs> David was dazed and confused when I brought him back to life. I should expect. He was scared. He didn't want me to go near him at first, which is understandable, as I did kill him. But I didn't really succeed in bringing him back. He wasn't a big talker before, but even monosyllabic words were more than what he seemed able to give me. What is, what is monosyllabic? A single syllable. Oh, okay. Like, kind of like a mononym. It's a like the and and? Uh, so like when you say that somebody has a mononym, it's like Cher or Madonna. Oh. Like a single a single word for a name. So oh. like uh, monosyllabic just means single syllable. Why did you choose the steak knife? The steak knife was the closest, sharpest weapon I could lay my hands on. I didn't really have much time to think about it. No, no, regret with no A. Sorry. A lot of that is just mistypes. But I'll, I'll also am bad at typing. Hmm. What 
We'll come back. I don't want to get bored. Here we go. Some mornings I come into work and still expect him to be here. Sometimes it feels like he actually is here, watching over me. We had a connection. It's gone now, though. You can't have a connection with the dead, can you? Not for too long, anyway. Yeah, I think you can, but... Dr. Decker asked me to have dinner with him for Valentine's. I refused, obviously, because you don't sleep where you eat or something like that. But it was flattering, especially with competition like Mariana around. <laughs> Crazy mermaid girl! Is Mariana competition? Sorry, I didn't mean I was competing. I was happy Mariana was going out with him. I didn't want to be romantic with him. We had a stronger connection than that. <laughs> um. Okay. Dr. Decker and I shared some philosophy. We'd both read The Cult of the Kinetic Mind and we agreed with a lot of what it said. Have you read that book, Doctor? No. Is it a real uh -huh. book? In Cult of the Kinetic Mind, the author suggests that everyone is capable of psychokinesis and that the cult leaders specifically had these powers that turned their followers into disciples. Cool. It's not a fun read, but if you're into psychology, it's a blast. Is it a real book? I kind of want to read that. Um, that sounds amazing. So, uh, what is it? The Cult of Kinesis? So, an interesting interesting thing to point out is that the term cult does not necessarily mean destructive cult. Cult really just means like a system of beliefs that is not like a mainstream religion. Mhm. Mm uh, what is it? Cult of Kinesis. Is that what was it called? Cult of Kinesis. Here, let me look. Cult at of the Kinetic Mind. Ah, you're right. Sorry, my bad. Uh, it is, is it a real? spiritual, yeah, it is a spiritually focused group with its own research areas into the unknown. So, yeah, I mean, they have a website. Ooh. Hold on, I'm joining a cult real quick. Uh, <laughs> this domain expired and is pending <laughs> renewal. Uh, yeah, so cults. <sighs> I'm going to click the next thing. Yep. Psychokinesis is the ability to change the physical world without actually touching it, just by using your mind. It's not just about bending spoons. It covers all sorts of things like telepathy, telekinesis, telesabalas. Shoot me, I'm a Kojak fan. Kojak. What's Kojak? Kojak, man? So, The Cult of the Kinetic Mind is not an actual book, but it looks like it is a real group if they, um... Uh, Link in the description for Co Kojak joining is a, the thing. Kojak is a TV show. Oh. Like I said, all those cool things are in Cult of the Kinetic Mind, apart from Kojak, obviously. If you ever get a patient who thinks they can change the world with just their mind, then duck. Just in case they can. But seriously, do a whole load of shrinking and make them better. Whether you believe in psychokinesis or not, You'll need to figure out your approach with those that do. So, Kojak was the main character in a television cop drama. Uh, He's a tough cop, but his trademark is a fondness for lollipops. Okay. So there's, like, all these pictures of this, like, really tough-looking bald guy, like, with a lollipop. That sounds like a really weird 80s sitcom. Do you know what it, is? it sounds like to me? It sounds like they Too were, like... Many cooks? It sounds like, oh, like, we don't want to show cigarettes on television because that'll encourage kids to smoke, so give them a lollipop and make them a badass. You know that what I mean? That kind of made me think of that, too. But I just... <coughs> <coughs> Have you seen the video, Too Many Cucks? Too Many... Too Many Cocks? No, not... Okay, I've that's seen something... Too many... I've seen that. God. No. Just... <laughs> <laughs> There's too many cocks in the kitchen. Too many cocks. Too many Spoils cocks. Spoils the cum shot. No. Um... <laughs> <laughs> We're banned. Banned from We're YouTube. Banned from YouTube. <laughs> no, too many cooks spoils the broth. Have you seen the video? Well, too many cocks spoil the broth too. Well, too many cocks <laughs> spoils the broth and the cum shot, and yes, all sorts of stuff. So too many too cocks many... have ruined a lot of things. But I'm talking about too many cooks. 
<laughs> I have can't you seen? unhear it. Have I'm you? Sorry. Okay. All right. You can imagine too many cocks if you want to, but <laughs> have you seen the video, Too Many Cooks? <laughs> <laughs> I'm picturing, like, all these guys, like, people in the kitchen with, like, aprons with, like... Put their dicks in, like, there's a hole. The there's a the hole <laughs> for the dick, and it says, like, kiss the cook and, like, arrow <laughs> down. You know? Someone needs to make this a porn. Please. Browsers.com. There's, there's gotta be. Browsers.com. Please, please, please. Please. Make, make a, a too many make cocks. A, make a porn called Too Many Cocks. And make it a and kitchen make, themed porn. Make it kitchen themed and they're all trying to work on the broth. <laughs> and they're all trying to work on the same thing and they just keep like knocking their dicks into each other. Too many cooks ru- ruins the broth. What sounds like too ruins the broad! Ruins too the broad. Many, ru- too many cooks Too many ruins, cocks ruins the broth. Oh yeah, too many cocks ruins the broad. <laughs> We've gone way off script. Um, what were we talking about? I was asking you, have you seen the video Too Many Cooks? No. I think you should watch it later. I think you would find it absolute... Like, you know how whenever you see really horrible things and you start laughing and I'm horrified at you? Yeah! I think you... I think this is one of those times. I think this is one of those times. Yeah, I think it's one of those times where you're kind of like... I would watch it and be like, (laughs) this is weird. And then it's like, can your pet all over again? It is kind of like, can your pet... (laughs) Where, where there ends up being, like, a separate clip of just me laughing maniacally as yeah. these horrible things happen. So it goes, too many cooks. Da, 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 da. It starts off as, like, an 80s sitcom thing, and they can just keep on introducing people, and then that's all I'm going to say. You should look it up. Okay. How do you make people who think they have special powers better? Do you remain passive and support, encourage them, take them away? So we're learning actually a lot right now about what is happening. So if they're talking about this like psychokinesis thing, that's like that he was into that philosophy. Like they're basically confirming your suspicion that it's like these people believe they have powers and by Dr. Decker encouraging them that like, yeah, like you could totally do that, that like it gives them the power to do it. So, I would say encourage them. Also, I have a side theory about the making of this game. About the too many cocks? About... It's related. It's related. But, um, I've noticed that the men tend to just keep their feet on the floor and they're wearing shoes. While the women are very blatantly showing off their beautiful feet. Mm-hmm. So, I would just like to make an Posit observation... That perhaps... That maybe the director likes women's feet. Maybe he's pulling a Quentin Tarantino. Hmm. Hiding in plain sight. You never know what you're going to see. Maybe this is a secret foot fetish game. This whole thing, all of this, like, bullshit, it's really just so that we can have these idle animations and then people can stare at feet. Exactly. See, look at this! Because... What's, what is, the, like, the purpose of, like, all of this, like, the questions is, like, completely unimportant. Yeah, what if this is a foot fetish game? Because yeah. it's, like, people who need foot context. They like, need- I can't get off to the feet unless there's some context! Well, yeah, it's kind of like people who are, like, oh, like, you know, I love sex, but it has to be with somebody I love. What if this is, like, I need, I like feet, but I need there to be some, like... So a story about the feet. Yeah, that's why, like, dating sims are, like, okay to me, but, like, Bioware games, I'm like, okay, so there's, like, context. Like, there's a whole entire lore whole based world. around this, and then now I can fuck my alien boyfriend, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, now I can have space lesbian sex, but I need to have, like, an entire world around that. I need to go shoot people, and that's the only way I can get off. Mm-hmm. But seriously, like, there's a lot of women's feet in this. Not complaining, <coughs> Not mm. complaining. Just noticing. Just noticing. Things could escalate. Building trust is one thing, but at what cost? No, not at all in my experience. Dr. Decker had an unusual number of patients who claimed psychokinesis. Either he'd been specifically looking for them or someone had been sending them. It's entirely possible that someone is targeting this practice with psychokinetic patients. To what end, I don't know. 
It's no coincidence that most psychokinetic patients are diagnosed as insane, or at least temporarily insane. It's a handy diagnosis if you're facing criminal prosecution, especially if it's for murder. Mm, she's at, she's, I think she's finger waving at Claire there. I was at home on my lonesome doctor, like I said before. Why does grief sound like being whipped? Oops, that was a strange thing to say, wasn't it? Whipped. whipped. Am I all whips and chains in the bedroom or dominant in the boardroom? What? Don't answer that, it's not a question. What? Early days for a harassment suit yet? What with Ben's nervous shock already? I was like, are you kind of like weird in the bedroom? She was like, I might be weird in the bedroom. And I'm like, <laughs> Tell me where is that? <laughs> the bedroom? Damn it! Honestly, I think Dr. Decker had a bit of a crush on Mariana. You think? Or vice versa. I'm not really sure. How are you There's not sure? There's some footage from their home sessions if you want to see them. <laughs> oh, fuck yes. yes. Yes, I do. I do want to see. Yes, show that it. That was a joke, Doctor. I guess we found our level. <laughs> ah, you got me. Uh, I just wanted to know if they were doing something bad, and if I just happened to see the bad stuff, it was just like a mistake, okay? Shut up. Dr. Decker did send me to see his mother once. She was dying in a nursing home, and he didn't want to see her. <laughs> I remember him calling her a manipulative, evil old hag. Yeah. I tend not to ask any more questions after that. I didn't really speak to Nathan that much at all, but I have this strange feeling that I know him really well. I can't quite put my finger on it. It's because he's time looping. Mm -hmm. Wait, maybe he had, maybe he like had like a date with her in a time loop or something. Well, maybe, like, some days he gets, like, co really connects with her and shit, mm -hmm. and then, like, it loops, and he's like, well, fuck it. Yeah. Most of the patients you're seeing have claimed some kind of psychokinesis. If you don't think that's the case, then they just haven't told you yet. Oh, we should ask all the patients about psychokinesis, then. Well, they might not know it by that name. There's just a lot of crazy flying around, Doctor. Don't catch any of it. What's up, creep? Hello, Doctor. I've been thinking about our last session, and I just wanted you to know that I'm not a bad person. Then stop doing I it. I know taking naked photographs is wrong. Okay. <laughs> but you don't know what it's like until you face the same temptation. What? I'm assuming you don't know what it's like. Um. Do you have an extra hour, Doctor? Listen, there are opportunities every day for everyone in the world to be a complete creep, and they just go, hey, my lizard brain says to do it, but my actual brain says not to do it, so hey, don't do it. Hey, Bryce. I don't know if you've heard of this thing called the internet. Yeah. But I hear there's naked pictures to be found anywhere. Yeah, you can look at naked pictures all you want from women who are consenting of that. Mm -hmm. In case you were wondering. Which I'd never understood the logic of people who are like, I don't want to look at pictures of porn stars. I don't want to look at pictures who don't want me to see their bodies because they're pure. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Why are you like this? Mm -hmm. No, I don't have an extra hour. What should I say? <coughs> Sorry. Uh, no, I don't. Thank God for that. There's someone else in my hour. Well, a hooded figure. They're judging you. Watching me and following me. I followed it too. Well, that's what happens when you do fucked up shit with your with your hour because that guy was like the you know what the hooded figure was. They were like, "What's this guy doing? What the fuck? Mm -hmm. What the fuck is that guy doing? I'm doing my hooded shit, just looking at people. This guy's fucking it up." 